You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and the head of the Chechen Republic, Ramadan Akhmadovich Kadriov, visited Iman Kadriov Mosque, where His Highness was briefed about the history of the mosque named after the mother of the Chechen head. His Highness expressed his admiration of the mosque, which reflects the Chechen Republic's keenness on maintaining religious sites by hosting various activities in them and showcasing the true values of Islam. He praised the construction of the mosque and inspired by Islamic heritage, saying that it is one of the prominent Islamic monuments in Chechnya. Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation of the Chechen Republic's efforts under the leadership of its head in designing and constructing mosques according to the historic Islamic art of Chechnya. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, alongside the head of the Chechen Republic, Ramadan Akhmadovich Kadyrov, inaugurated the new social center. A number of Chechen Republic heads and officials attended the ceremony. His Highness toured the center, which was built in a period of 70 days and is considered one of the modern buildings in the Republic of Chechnya. The construction of the center reflects the architectural development of Chechnya. The building provides a number of services, including a hospital with a selection of elite doctors, cadres, modern equipment and a model school. Sheikh Nasser delivered a speech in which he praised the efforts the Chechen head and his government to provide a decent life for the people of the friendly Republic of Chechnya and to build social centers that contribute to achieving social security and spreading awareness concerning the importance of solidarity in order to build a cohesive society. His Highness noted that the new hospital and school reflect the Chechen government's approach in enhancing health and educational services. Sheikh Nasser congratulated Kadyrov, his government and the people of Chechnya on the new social center, expressing his admiration of the development march of the country. He also commended Chechnya's domestic and foreign policy and its leadership, which managed to achieve prosperity and development. His Highness noted that the Republic of Chechnya continues its political, economic, social and cultural empowerment to move the Republic to wider horizons of development in various fields. Sheikh Nasser added that Chechnya has become a leading model in development, affirming that the maintenance of its national achievements is a result of the cooperation between the government and the people. He also underscored its architectural, economic, cultural, scientific and sporting development. His Highness wished the brotherly country, its government and its people further progress, development and prosperity. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the head of the Chechen Republic, Ramadan Akhmadovich Kadyrov, attended the closing ceremony of the Chechnya International Championship for Mixed Martial Arts. Elite athletes from Chechnya and the world took part in the championship. His Highness crowned the winner of the championship, while the head of the Chechen Republic honored the other winners. Sheikh Nasser expressed pride in the distinguished levels of the participants, affirming that they reflect the fighters' advanced skills and abilities. He stated that mixed martial arts in Chechnya continues to develop, adding that the patronage of mixed martial arts in Bahrain by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa contributed to making outstanding achievements in various events. His Highness hailed a Bahraini example in the sports which continues its administrative and technical development. He added that Bahrain has a wide base of international fighters that have raised the flag of Bahrain in various sporting events. He also praised the Chechen example in mixed martial arts, noting the importance of benefiting from both examples to develop the sports in both countries. Sheikh Nasser expressed pride in the interests of the Chechen 
head in mixed martial arts, praising his efforts at all levels to develop the sport, adding that they have positively contributed to the success of the championship. He also praised the administrative and organizational measures of the championship's committees, which reflected the capabilities of the Chechen cadres. Sheikh Nasser wished the Chechen youth and athletic movement further progress and development. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, Ishani Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa delegated the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham Al Joda, to inaugurate the third Khalid bin Hamad Theatre Award for National Clubs, Youth Centres and People with Disabilities at Maharag Model Youth Centre in Bsaitin. His Highness affirmed the importance of the art of theatre in supporting the youth and enhancing their skills in order to achieve cultural progress and enhance the march of the Bahraini theatre. He added that the award acknowledges the capabilities of the Bahraini youth, praising the participation of people with special needs in this edition of the award. He pointed out that the noble goals of the award is to draw a smile among all, deepen the social and cultural interaction between the national clubs and youth centre members, as well as people with special needs. His Highness stressed the need to support this festival through providing all the facilitation necessary for the participants to showcase and develop their talents, which comes in line with a vision of the wise leadership to support the youth sector. He hailed the efforts of the higher committee for organizing the event. The Maharag Model Youth Center opens its doors for the third edition of the Khalid bin Hamad Theatres Festival for national clubs, youth centers and people with disability, which comes this year under the slogan, Let's Plant a Smile. Well, we're very lucky to host this for the third year. I think it's, uh, it's been very successful the first and second and it's been growing and growing. And I think uh, I didn't really expect uh, for us to have this big of an opening and an attendance. Uh, what this shows us is that really the youth in Bahrain are very colorful. Uh, they're very creative and we need to uh, basically uh, supply the demand and there is a huge demand into art these days creativity and especially theater so very th i'm very thankful uh, to his highness sheikh Khalid bin hamad bin isa al khalifa for his uh, support his patronage his sponsorship of course it's very important we never had these kind of events for theater in bahrain even though like we are the best. I think we are the best in the Gulf, or one of the best, because we are very talented. But unfortunately, we didn't have the support here in Bahrain. We used to have a lot of like um, plays, but there was no such event. So this event that's hosted by His Highness Sheikh Khalid, uh, I'm really thankful for him. And inshallah, next events will be bigger and we'll have more events for the theater in Bahrain. The opening ceremony featured a screening of a short movie on the last two editions of the festival. In addition to an operetta dedicated to the Kingdom of Bahrain, an art gallery was also opened on the sidelines of the ceremony, which will continue throughout the festival. Uh, this uh, prize actually, it's a proud. It's, I'm proud of this. I'm proud that I participate. I'm proud that I make some people happy. And all the thanks for His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad 
for this opportunity, opportunity that he gave to us. It actually is very important and this is the third uh, version or third year to make it and I hope for the next year it will be a big participant from my side in this uh, occasion. First of all, I'd like to thank His Highness Sheikh Khalid for this wonderful opportunity for all of us Bahrainis. Um, this festival especially gives us an advantage because our government is taking care of us and helping us grow through our talents. So I'm very excited about this term and I'm excited about the upcoming ones and I hope to, I hope to join. Several re-owned theater actors and actresses were honored as well as the teams that organized preparations for the festival, which will go on until the 21st of October and aims to support the youth of the Kingdom of Bahrain and people with disabilities and to engage them with different events and activities. For the third consecutive year, the festival continues to excel and embrace local talents by organizing events that allows the youth to excel and improve their abilities. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Minister of Education, Majid Naimi, patronized today the World Teachers Day ceremony under the aim to express appreciation to the efforts exerted by teachers to provide the generations with the best knowledge and educational values. The minister inaugurated a handcraft art gallery in which 122 students of 40 schools portrayed their appreciation to their teachers. Naimi then honored the winners of the best participation in addition to honoring the administrative and educational bodies of public schools that have been awarded an excellent rating in the third cycle of the Quality Review of Education and training. He also honored teachers who applied international math and science exams as well as teachers of students with special needs. The minister delivered a speech in which he stressed that the ministry has always promoted the profession of education and provided opportunities for teachers to achieve self-growth through training and the provision of the best conditions and the appropriate environment that encourages creativity. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halal Ansari, received today participants of the workshop hosted by the SCW under the theme Improving the Image of Women in the Arab Media. The workshop was held on the occasion of selecting Manama as the capital of the Arabian women, and it was organized by the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization in cooperation with the SCW, Ministry of Information Affairs, and the Bahrain Committee for Education, Science and Culture. The participants of the workshop expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, for the workshop which was held in two days in the SCW headquarters, wishing her further success in leading the Bahraini women towards more development. Al Ansari valued the efforts of the participants in highlighting the civil role of the Arab women and for developing Arab media. She also affirmed the keenness of the SCW to enhance cooperation with all partners to implement the recommendations and outcomes of the workshop. These included establishing a network for media figures under the supervision of the General Secretariat of Islamic educational scientific and cultural organization the workshop commended the objectives of the ISESCO's media monitoring project it also praised the efforts of the organization's centers in training media enthusiasts